This is Michael Stevens from the Chai Kai News Network. A terrifying incident for four siblings who found themselves the victim of a robbery in the middle of the night. Sarah Stevens heard a noise outside and woke her older sister Mary, who then went out and gave chase to the intruder. Unfortunately, it was too little, too late. The robbery took place in the Sugar House area of Salt Lake City. We now go to our field reporter, Brooke Stevens. I am here on scene at the Trakai Ferority where the alleged robbery took place around midnight last night when, sis when younger sister Sarah Stevens says that she awoke to a strange man entering the garage at the back of their house. I was just downstairs about to get in bed when I was just picking up my clothes, trying to sit out my outfits for the week when I hear this footsteps right outside my window. I come up here and I see a man running and there's nothing left in the garage. What am I supposed to do? Well, obviously, we got a stealer on Sherman Avenue. He's climbing in your garage. He's snatching your skis up. So y'all need to hide your skis, hide your bikes, and hide your snowboard because they're stealing everything out here. <laughs> they took my skis. They took our bikes. They took our boots. They took everything in this garage. And all I was left with was this little tire, which goes right over here on what's supposed to be a bike, but it's now gone. <laughs> The police did come and dust her fingerprints, but unfortunately the perpetrator has not been apprehended. Mary Stevens does have some words of warning, however. You don't have to come and confess because we looking for you. We going to find you. You done left tire tracks and fingerprints all over the garage. So you can run and tell that, homeboy. <laughs> Individuals with any information regarding the attack on Sherman Avenue are being urged to call the Salt Lake City Police Department. This is Brooke Stevens reporting live for Truck High News Network.